What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. Hope you guys are all in a fantastic day today. And today we have the March 2020 Albuquerque International Airport update for you guys. Hope you guys are excited for today's video. If you guys are, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn on your post notifications because we are so close to 1,000 subscribers and it's our time to shine. All kinds of aviation content coming. I'll talk about more toward the end, so stay tuned. But let's get, get, get into this Albuquerque update. We're gonna start over here on the uh, over here uh, by the on the other side of the terminal for difference. So here we have United Express Bombardier Day Sierra Day Dash 200. He's currently getting ready for a flight out to Los Angeles. Still remaining all Bombardier uh, Sierra Day uh, Dash 200s. And yes, Tennessee One has arrived. So the four special Southwest lineup is here. I think it looks beautiful. Let me get you guys a better view of that if I can. Sorry, this is kind of an awkward spot back here, but yeah, looks really good. We'll look at more towards the end. Beginning with the South Carolina's Boeing 737-700 in the Colorado One paint scheme. He's through loading up passengers, service out to Dallas Love Field after arrival from Denver, Colorado, fittingly. Maryland One's obviously going to be heading out to Baltimore because Baltimore, Maryland. After arrival from, we'll go with Phoenix. Uh, Tennessee One is officially here. Very good model. Highly recommend it. If you guys don't have it, go pick it up uh, while it's around. Anyways, he's heading out. We don't have Nashville actually out of Albuquerque, so he's going to uh, be going to Houston Hobby instead after I'm from Los Angeles. And then back there, we have Triple Crown One, not uh, state livery, but still a nice special livery in my opinion. Uh, he's currently getting passengers on board, heading out to uh, Las Vegas after I'm from, we're going to go Kansas City. Another Southwest 737 700 taxiing up, service out to, we're going to go with uh, San Jose after I'm from Salt Lake City. 737 800 heading out to, uh, let's go with. Uh, the seasonal flight should be starting back up soon, so we'll go with Portland after all from San Antonio. I'm sorry if those are a little early. Here we have an Allegiant Airbus E319. He's going to be heading out to Austin after all from Las Vegas. Uh, it's going to be nice to see him start service to Orlando Sanford. I believe that's June 4th, so uh, yeah, we'll have that coming soon. June will be a big month for a lot of new flights for the airports, which I'm excited about. South Challenge, Boeing 737-700 in Canyon Blue paint scheme as well. He's going to be making a flight off to... Um, so that's why I'm trying to seasonal flights. We'll go with Orlando after all from Chicago Midway. Now this lineup's super cool. So uh, here's some of my new models. Uh, the American Airlines Airbus E321, uh, Stand Up to Cancer, really nice. Obviously it's not flying here right now, but I did want to include it along with the United Airbus E319 by Gemini Jets. So well, let's knock out this United Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the new paint scheme by Gemini Jets. Still a really good model. He's heading back off to, oh, um, I forgot that they're not flying mainland right now to Houston, but that was the intention. So he's heading out to Houston. So a little bit off, but it's okay. Sorry about that, guys. So I'll have that fixed for the next update for you guys. Um, United Airbus E319, beautiful model, highly recommend it. Uh, unlike the United Airbus 175, Gemini Jets knocked this new United livery for those releases out of the park. So engine sizes are fixed and it's a beauty. So I highly recommend you go pick it up if you have it. Plus the Wi-Fi box and the antennas. It's a really good mold. This is, uh, thank you AS Aviation for correcting me in the comment section of the DFW update. IAE. Uh, 2500 engines are what this on the United A319. So beautiful model, highly recommend it. Anyways, he's gonna be heading off to Denver, Colorado today, which has been A319, so fittingly. I'm so glad I decided to get it. I was obviously spectacle after getting the Aero Classics A319, but I think it was all, all worth it. Maybe we can pick up another. Right here, beautiful engine model. Here we have an American Airlines Airbus E321 stand at the Cancer. The only little thing I would complain about is that's a little, um, a little tall on uh, the winglet or starlet rather it's a little um you know it's obviously it doesn't have any angle to it which is a little much um maybe a little curve or a little more curve to it would be nice but besides that it's perfect wi-fi box beautiful and then the decals obviously look at all that text that's super cool anyways he's going to be heading off to dallas fort worth on the substitution flight usually these have been flown on 819s and boeing 737s so but yeah i decided to throw it in because it's a new model and um you know just throw uh throw some spice into it you know American Airlines Airbus E319 off the Phoenix Sky Harbor. They're still flying these once a day on the Phoenix flights. It's super cool. Doing a little different stuff here. Just trying to experiment with some views and stuff. Uh, one of the best uh, E319s I'd have in my fleet because of that. The engine size. And then the Wi-Fi box as well. It would be nice if they were to add that uh, on that mold. Maybe at some point. We'll see. American Airlines Airbus 175 off to Chicago O'Hare. Still Airbus 175. Just like Tulsa and some of my other airports. But yeah. Still a cool flight. And this is the right M175 mold. Uh, Alaska Airbus 8 20. Um, I don't know if it was 8 20 last update. It was either 319 or 320, but we're uh, regardless back on the 320 for right now. 
He's heading out to Seattle, Washington, or Seattle, Tacoma, rather, today. And he's going to be, um, that's two daily, I believe, so. Jet Blue versus E320 in the Bark Hotel um, via Velocity Models. What's its um, little heading deal? Blue by popular demand, that's right. Ooh, lost K through 20, tipped over. Anyways, he's heading out to uh, New York, John Kennedy. Still 11.05 arrival and 11.55 departure, so kind of where we're at. Okay, so here's another new addition. So, uh, mainline to Salt Lake City for Delta is back for now. So, here we have a Delta Airlines service E319, which service out to Salt Lake City. It comes in at about 11.57 p.m. And it heads back off at, uh, what's, uh, what time was it? Like 5.40 a.m. or something? Yeah, it's unfortunate that the gears keep falling off. I probably will end up finding some. So, we'll see. I did find my Colorado One wheel, by the way. I know I didn't mention it, but it was on this Albuquerque replica. Uh, there's a decent view. It is back, though. So, that's pretty awesome that I found it. I'll try to glue it so it doesn't fall off again and I don't lose it. Now, here's what I think the... Uh, th these were a little sharp. Let me... Um, I'll... When we get to the end, I'll show you guys what it should look like. But here we have a Delta Airlines service E321. Uh, he's heading back to Atlanta. These are still 321. So maybe the 737-900 for now is done. But I think it's okay. Something to rotate. We'll have the 757 in here at some point. I'm excited for that to come back because that's a beautiful model to put in. And yeah. Delta M170 heading out to Los Angeles. Hopefully they'll release the enhanced winglet version. Not like the 9 Express, but uh, not with the wings like that. But we'll see. Uh, Frontier Gate's empty, and then we have an American Eagle on 175, Comp is heading back to Los Angeles. They're still doing CRJ 700s, but I decided that it would be fair to bring back our classic number 175, because, I mean, it's obviously a classic, so why not? Here, pushing back from Cargo Gate 1, we have a UPS, uh, Boeing 767, that's 300 ER. It's currently pushing back with service out to Louisville. I did uh, purchase a new UPS model, I'm very excited about it. If you're curious, you can go join my Discord page in the link in the description. And you can go see what all is going on with that. Also, if you'd like to, Instagram link in the description. And if you are if you really want to donate, not force any of you guys to, but if any of you guys, uh, for people that were asking, that link is now in the description as well. So if you'd like to do that, they're all there. FedEx Express, uh, Boeing 757 Freighter. He's uh, loading up cargo, as you can see. Finally have some GSC up. Hey, he's going to be heading off to Memphis. I, I might not have said the route. I, I think I said Louisville, just to make sure it is coming back to Louisville. Here's our front chair, it was E320, and he's currently getting ready to head off to Denver. Now, this is decent. Um, I don't know if I'll have another comparison. I can just grab from the shelf at the end of the update, but we'll see. But that's pretty good. Anyways, he's heading out to Denver, like I said. Southwest Airlines, Boeing 737-700. This is the blue box kind of custom model with that nose gear. And he's uh, currently getting ready to hold short of runway 08, and he's going to get ready to head back off to... Um, we'll go with... Los Angeles as well after travel from <laughs> Austin. And then we have e oh boy. Here's the United Ember 175 in new livery. Dumpster fire. Um, if you don't like unrealistic wings and don't get it, I'll show you guys a better view in a moment. Kind of hard to get it back there. Anyways, he's heading off to, uh, this is going to be our Chicago Air flight. Alaska Airlines uh, or Alaska Horizon number 175. He's holding short of runway 08 and he's going to be heading off back to Portland, which um, just the only two Alaska flights now, Portland and Seattle. And Southwest Airlines, Boeing 737 700. He's currently getting ready to touch down. Got to stand, like I said in the last update. Um, if you want to go watch it, you can after this video. I'll leave it on the screen. But, anyways, he's landing in from. I got so many Southwest, it's crazy. Um, I'm going to start rotating them in and out. Um, as well for Phoenix after I was from Las Vegas. Now, let's just show this off here. If you guys didn't see the Psycho A Geek video, make sure you go check it out after this video. But, mm, oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, let me just give you guys a good look here. This is level with the fuselage. I mean, mm, not very realistic. Not very good. Just look. I make a lot right triangle out of that. Mm. Here it looks, jeez. Look at that winglet, it's even better, or whatever. Anyways, that will conclude the Albuquerque update. I do have a lot to talk about, so make sure to stick around. Sorry about that, I just wanted to show you guys how bad that actually is. So, obviously these actual airport updates have been shorter. Um, 
in the beginning, that's, or I'm sorry, they have been more rushed and faster paced. That's obviously for the YouTube algorithm. So please leave a like for the YouTube algorithm to push this video out to more people. And subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notifications. We've been live streaming every weekend, twice, Saturday and Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Central Time. So come join us and uh, come see what it's all about. We did a five hour live stream on Saturday, last Saturday when this is coming out. And we have one tonight as well. So I hope to see you guys. Friday will be. Oh, well, I haven't even got that far on what video is Friday. I haven't even got the calendar ready. But it is March, so happy March. Uh, finally rolling into spring. Summer is going to be great. We're not very far away, so it's going to be fun. And the new airport should be coming out next week, hopefully. So I hope you guys are excited for that. It's going to be fun. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Uh, enjoy it. It's uh, pretty big, and it's even bigger than Albuquerque. It has about the same amount of gates. It's the only hits I'm going to give you guys. So, yeah, go watch the live stream. I actually talked about it um, at the very end. So if you want to go find out what's going on uh, make sure to go check it out and let's see what else we have to say so check new routes but I'm pretty sure everything is gonna remain the same so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section about the faster paced updates Do you guys want to see them more balanced out to more of like the 15 minute range or was uh, 10 minutes better for you guys or do you guys prefer the actual 20 minute long updates what do you guys like I would like to know because I'm trying to balance it out for the YouTube algorithm and try to grow the channel as much as possible so subscribe we're so close to 1000 um, anyways so yeah I'm trying to see here where it is on the uh, I need air. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I'm trying to pull it up, but the phones are not being very cooperative. Here we go. Albuquerque Sunport. And I am thinking about, I'm going to get the the blue sky in the back, hopefully, in the next couple months. Hopefully, somebody remind me in the comment section. Um, maybe one day we'll redo the tarmac. Obviously, it's not perfect, and it's a little faded already. So, yeah, Land of Sanford starts June 4th seasonally, and that is it. Southwest flights, Austin, Baltimore, Chicago, Midway, Dallas, Field, Denver, Houston, Hobby, Kansas City, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Oakland, I forgot Oakland, Phoenix, Iowa, San Diego, and San Jose. So, uh, yeah, not bad. Statistics haven't really been updated. They're mainly the same. Just looking through here. Yeah. So, not much to write about. But, yeah, we still have a lot coming. Um, Let's see here. Let's get a nice look at the terminal. Um, I do want to redo the terminal. That was the other thing I want to talk about. In real life, I don't think it's a gray. I'm pretty sure it's like a tan or something. So I'm going to get that redone. And obviously the windows need to be hot glued instead of um, taped. So that that's a project here in the next couple months. I'll probably start on. And then the blue sky, obviously. And then next update, we should have the new UPS model. So turn on your post notifications and stay tuned for that because it's going to be epic. And I hope to see as many of you guys there as possible. Please keep watching videos. Audio Audience retention is a huge deal in the YouTube algorithm, and we're trying to beat it. We're almost to 1,000 subscribers, and I'm so excited to hopefully turn this into a full-time gig. So, on um, behalf of you guys, so thank you guys so much for all your support, and keep liking these videos and sharing with your friends and family. YouTube also really likes that. So, yeah, come, on, come join us in the live stream. More trip reports will be coming. This will be kind of a different month with some room stuff going on as long as it was a possible trip so um, we're kind of indecided on a lot of the stuff but yeah I'm sorry about um, all of the um, what's the word all the uh, not inconsistencies but all the uncertainty of what's going on I'll let you guys know as soon as possible but yeah Friday um, I'm not sure what's coming out probably maybe Pensacola or something we'll see hopefully not Pensacola that's probably a airport update for next Monday we'll see Maybe a trip port, I'll let you guys know as soon as possible. It really all depends on the schedule, like I said. So, yeah, make sure to check me out on Instagram at Red River Aviation to stay up to date with all my photography and uh, announcements and keep up with live trips uh, when they're happening or any news or anything. And also, go join Discord page. Very fun with other Ave Geeks, and everybody really enjoys it. We're so close to 50 members, so if you want to go join that, please do so. Along with liking this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell, and let me know what I should do with Albuquerque in the comments section. If it looks good or should I redo tarmac or tarnable or anything like that. Let me know in the comment section. Share with your friends and family. And let's go to the channel, like I said, almost to 1,000 subscribers. Crazy stuff. So, yeah, kind of the problem is I got to balance these more out. Because I want the um, actual runtime and the actual update portion of the video to be more like the 15-minute range. Spend five minutes rambling is what I need to do. But, obviously, I've been getting them done in like 10 minutes. The Dallas update was done in... 
20 so obviously with this faster pace there's not much to elaborate on but I'll talk about some airline stuff as we still have some time here so Delta Airlines operates flights right now to uh, Los Angeles Atlanta and Salt Lake City Salt Lake City usually has been um, not non mainline usually I'm once any five flights but this is the first update it's been upgraded to the A319 uh, so that's pretty sweet and the A321 second debut update uh, it has been something in 900 for the rest of the updates. I'll put the playlist at the end on the card, so if you want to go see how the airport's progressed, you can go do that if you're bored and looking for more stuff to watch. JetBlue has been the same the whole time, just flying newer John Kennedy on the Red Eye flight. Uh, Alaska's been um, 737s and Airbuses the whole time. It's changed. We used to have M175 flights to Orange County and um, Maybe it was San Jose or somewhere, I forgot. San Diego. And those canceled, unfortunately, but those are cool. American Airlines flights to Los Angeles, uh, Chicago, uh, Dallas, and Phoenix. It's been different flights. And I don't know if we'll ever get that Charlotte flight back. That's always been pondering in my head what's going on with that. United flies to Denver, San Francisco, um, Los Angeles, and Houston uh, on a variety of aircraft. That aircraft is really good, though. I recommend that Tennessee one, but not that M175. If you're going for realism. Southwest operates like all the routes I said, and Allegiant's going to be starting their third route in, in um, June. So, yeah. Pretty crazy how Tulsa has more new flights than Albuquerque right now. Um, so, yeah, maybe we'll read. I think the terminal's got to be the start. We got to get a uh, nice blue sky back there. Um, maybe do some more detail work on that cargo terminal. It's obviously pretty bland, so... And let me know if there's anything you guys think I should do to these terminals. They're obviously not picture perfect, and there's a lot more that we can do to them. See, I keep sharing the videos uh, with your friends and family, guys. We're so close to 1,000 subscribers, and that's just the first big milestone. There's going to be an epic music video coming out and some really sweet live streams for the celebration. So come join us, and it's going to be fun, and there's never a better time to join the train. So please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Enable them to all so you don't miss out on a brand new video. The YouTube algorithm obviously is very picky and uh, we want the best for the channel so keep watching videos guys I'll put them on the end screen and obviously you can go to the description if you're curious on playlists and stuff but yeah um, playlists for everything um, the Psycho AV video as well there's been a pay playlist made for all those videos there's four in the series right now so I don't know like the video and let me know in the comment section if you want to see a fifth installment and anything else you guys want to see coming to the channel it's a fun time to be around. I really appreciate you guys' support. And once again, I'm sorry about the balance and blend between the actual airport portion and the rambling portion. I obviously didn't do a great job of pasting my way through the update. I need to not have near as much downtime uh, when I'm talking about something for the planes. And I need to mix in just enough of that to where we can get to a good run time and not literally just go through it. All, all, I think the only things I talked about were the new models and this change i think we're pretty much it and a little in that but yeah here's let's get some better views of this before we cap off another albuquerque national airport update so colorado one once again i got the wheel let's see if we get a bit, little better view of that there we go that's a little better kind of hard to get there then we have maryland one beautiful model got from 93 dollars um that actually debuted in the albuquerque update last summer so check that out if you want Beautiful model, Tennessee One. Really, really like it. Highly recommend it. The red sharp looks really good in the light, so highly recommend you pick it up. And then Trip Crown One, obviously a very rare model, um, but that's for Southwest employees. Seems like everybody's getting uh, livery or liveries for their employees now. Southwest, Stamp Cancer, that Delta A321. Thank you, livery. If that remains around, I would love to pick that up. But yeah, let's see. Let Let's do this view because I haven't done it in a super long time. I used to do it with the old camera all the time. Let's see. Uh, I can't see, sorry guys. Uh, nice. So I'm going to leave you guys off right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. And turn on your notifications and enable them to all so you never miss out on a brand new video. If you want more Albuquerque updates, they should be coming up on the screen momentarily. So please uh, stay tuned for that. Really appreciate all your guys' support and it's really appreciated. Stay tuned for more live streams and more trip reports, more airport updates and new airport especially. That's why you want your notifications on and you don't want to miss it. It's exciting times. Instagram, donations, Discord, all the links in the description. Make sure to go read it. I put a lot of information in there. So make sure to go do that. Keep watching videos in screens are coming up now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And until next time, Red River Aviation is signing off.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so you're always notified when new videos are coming to the channel. There's a link in the description for my Discord page and I highly recommend if you want early access to videos, information, announcements, and uh, just to talk to me and other aid geeks in the conversations tab, if you just want to go join, I'd really appreciate it. So the link's in the description for that. And please go follow me on Instagram at Red River Aviation so you can see daily aviation photos and also catch up to date on what's going on on the stories. And uh, please comment your feedback, what you thought about the video, and please share with your friends, family, and fellow ape geeks. If you share on your Instagram story and at me, at Red River Aviation, I'll make sure to give you a shout out. So I highly recommend you do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, Red River Aviation is signing off.